Lenovo has launched its first Legion gaming phone featuring a Snapdragon 865 Plus, 90 watt charging, and a side pop up camera. Now, what was it, yesterday? No, this morning. We published a video on what I claim to be the world's most powerful smartphone. Mm. That was the ROG Phone 3. Yes. And it was also featuring this 865 plus chip inside of it, which is the first chip, by the way, to crack, mobile chip, smartphone chip, to crack the three gigahertz barrier. And everybody got all hyped about it. I'm playing games. I'm killing guys in the games. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Even me. I got the air triggers going. Look at you. Look at me. Well, Lenovo's not going to let that happen. They say, you think you're going to make a gaming phone? Well, we're going to make a gaming phone. Yeah. And we're going to challenge you for that top spot of most powerful smartphone. So they do things a little bit differently. The battery is not going to be quite as big, but it's going to charge faster. So you got 90 watt charging, which is a beast. So that means two separate battery modules. Uh, that's going to give you a total of 5,000 milliamp hours, which is compared, of course, to the the choice for the slower charging 6,000 milliamp hours on the ROG Phone 3. You see the difference there? Because I was reading about the battery capacity on that ROG Phone 3, and they were saying, look, the phone's going to get crazy fat if we want to have both super fast charging like a 90 watt fast charging and 6000 milliamp so they went for the extra in that area i don't know what people are going to prefer 90 watt fast charging kind of gets me kind of gets me go gets your juices i mean it just yeah know about you (laughs) some other specifications on this thing oh yeah you're also going to get 16 gigs of ram if you want it surprise surprise oh yeah you're going to get 512 gigs of storage if you want it Surprise, surprise. 2340 by 1080 display. How about that 144 hertz refresh rate, which is now just, yeah, you're going to get it if you're getting a gaming phone now. It's some wild stuff in 2020. A couple of other differences here, maybe the the key difference here, because it will have the air triggers as well, is this side pop-up camera. Scroll down to the next image there. Look at that. You kidding me right now? And of course, you know the reason for this, Well. Just because the future game streamers are going to be on mobile. And you're playing the game in the landscape orientation, but you need the camera as well oh. to run your Twitch Twitch stream on mobile. Mm. What a time to be alive. That's actually pretty smart. It's kind of cool. So actually, there's one more image, if you back out of this one, which shows you with a game open how that's going to look. That's kind of a nice touch. Oh, yeah. Now, you're also going to get two front-facing stereo speakers, again, much like the ROG Phone 3. So it's obvious these two things are going to go head-to-head. It looks to me like the touch sampling rate is going to be ever so slightly slower on this one. 240 hertz, still plenty. So now we have a a real challenge. Maybe I'll get my hands on this. Maybe Willie Do sends an email. I don't know. Maybe Lenovo hits us up and we do the comparison. But this area of the market appears to be heating up. Mm Mm-hmm. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot, though. No. You can't be dropping those frames. Yeah. 